I'm like ninety percent Solana. It's been the right bet to have um, over the over the cycle so far. China and the U.S. are agreeing or have agreed to negotiate Taiwan in exchange for Taiwan Semi. It's that moment that that crypto tends to go vertical. What's so interesting about meme coins is that. Wait a minute, everyone. We all agree that the crypto market never sleeps, but with countless newsletters out there, how do you choose the best one for you? Bitcoin Zella stands out with its simplicity and clarity. We've crafted an experience that anyone can dive into, whether you're a crypto expert or just a new to the crypto world. Now guess who keeps his eye on us? The author of best-selling book Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And we want to take this opportunity and thank all the people who trusted us, and we read every comment, and the best part. It's free. Subscribing now means you will get all new information for free. Don't just follow the trends, stay ahead of them. Subscribe to Bitcoin Zella today and enjoy the new edge. Let's join Raul Powell in a conversation about these topics and more. I'm like 90% Solana. It's been the right bet to have um, over, the, over the cycle so far. The only play I've done this year in any meaningful size was I took top sliced Solana as it was coming from 150 over to 200, top sliced it and started buying the high end of NFTs. So I I bought pretty much every single Beeple I could possibly buy. And then I bought every single X copy I could afford, uh, building a long term long term portfolio. These things were quite beaten down. And my view is this space goes from two and a half, three trillion now. By the end of this cycle, it's 10 to 15 trillion. By the end of, let's say, 2032, just extrapolating the normal log trend of this, it's a hundred trillion dollars by 2032. That from here is 97 trillion dollars of wealth that is going to come. This is the largest, fastest accumulation of wealth in all recorded history. Let's assume I'm a total moron, which is a good thing to do, and I'm wrong by 50 percent. It's still a 50 trillion dollar wealth accumulation. That is the entire history of wealth accumulation of the S&P 500 and its market cap. So the amount of wealth that's going to get generated is going to get recycled into the space. People will buy high-end property in nice places, but a lot of people in this space won't go outside of this space and it gets recycled, whether it's VC, whether it's the opportunities of building the applications layer, but really people seek trophy assets. And so I've just been buying as much trophy assets as I can for a kind of long 10-year time horizon because I think this is the last chance you'll ever get to buy this stuff at the kind of prices it is. Yeah. The banana zone is something that both Arthur and I talk a lot about. It's that... Oh point in the cycle where liquidity comes in, where central banks need to refi all of the debt. Um, it's when politicians bribe the people with plenty of candy. It's that moment that that crypto tends to go vertical. And it's very cyclical. It's driven by this macroeconomic forces of this debt refi cycle. It affects all the asset prices over the time. But crypto is the one that goes truly bananas. So again, the simplest way is don't fuck this up. So just have a core portfolio of the big stuff. But if you get the other stuff right, you can make a lot of money in the other stuff. The 10, 20% of your portfolio, there's a bit more degen. That's when you're going to see some really interesting stuff. Now, if you go back to the classic banana zone from the last cycle, that's when Solana, Avalanche, Luna, and Matic came. And those, the performance in one year out of those four tokens was insane. We're going to see that repeat. Who's it going to be? What's it going to be? I don't know yet, but that's a game to be had in the banana zone. And it's part of the fun that you can actually degen in and feel like you've really nailed something because really most of the game is just doing nothing um, and just letting it all play out. What's so interesting about meme coins is that utility is either zero or small, right? Bonk has some utility, you know, Shiba Inu has some utility, but the actual cultural value is the attention that these things get. The attention is upstream of everything. And so it's so easy to understand. You don't need to value it as, does this capture attention? Is that uh, attention persistent? And do I get some sort of feel-good factor or status by owning it? And it's the same as a LVMH, you know, a, a Louis Vuitton handbag. And it's the same with fi fine wines. It's the same with the meme on the internet that you share. It's all the same thing. It's just concentrated attention. Michael Saylor highlights that Bitcoin ETF now hold over 1 million BTC, reflecting growing institutional and retail interest in cryptocurrency investment. Bitcoin ETF reach a milestone 
with over 1 million BTC, showing rising investor interest. ETF provide easy Bitcoin investment without managing cryptocurrency directly. BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust and Fidelity's Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund lead the market, signaling a U.S. focus shift. Sailor's MicroStrategy continues to amass Bitcoin, owning 214,400 BTC. U.S. Bitcoin ETF attract $131 million in inflows on June 7, maintaining a trend of net inflows. China and the U.S. are agreeing or have agreed to negotiate Taiwan in exchange for Taiwan Semi. There is no other outcome that can happen without them going to war. And actually, they can't afford that war. N nobody can. Um, <clears throat> I've been observant of Gavin Newsom and that weird trip to China. Now, Gavin Newsom going to China, normally he'd be met with somebody lower down. He meets with Chi. There is the only one reason he's coming with the gift. The gift is, let's talk Taiwan. Then Gavin brings Chi back to the United States. When they're saber rattling at each other, Chi suddenly turns up in San Francisco, of all places, not even DC. And Newsom is, is geopolitically squeaky clean. He's not involved in anything. So he's gone there it's like, I've got no beef with you guys. I'm just a tech guy here over in California. Uh, let's talk Taiwan Semi. Let's talk Taiwan. And I, I, the US is building three Taiwan Semi plants. Germany's building one. Japan's building one. Um, they're probably all built within the next four to five years. Then everybody's got the technology that can be shared. And I, and I believe that, if, that they say to China, listen, let's organize something here. You can have Taiwan and Taiwan Semi. We'll split Taiwan Semi. We'll go our own ways, split AI amongst two. When you follow that through, it's been interesting. Then she did a little tour of Europe and met all the, uh, well, met Macron and others there. They need to warm up this whole equation. What does Europe want the most? It's really interesting when you follow this. What does Europe want the single most is Russia out of its doorstep. What happens? She goes straight back from France. First meeting, Putin flies straight over to see him. Comes back and says, yeah, we were wrong. It wasn't the Ukrainians who bombed the concert hall. It was ISIS. Now, everyone can blame ISIS. It's like the bogeyman. You're, you're politically allowed to say ISIS to anything. So that was interesting. And then he said, started leaking that we're prepared to negotiate not expanding territory in Ukraine, and we'll call it a day. Inflation decreases currency purchasing power and raises prices, driven by increased money supply, interest rate manipulation, and quantitative easing. Inflation surged post-COVID-19 with government relief payments totaling $931 billion. The Federal Reserve raised rates to lower inflation from nearly 10% to a 2% target but it remains above 3%. Economist Murray Rothbard links inflation to uncontrolled fiat currency expansion, increasing prices. Inflation reduces public wealth without consent, often blamed on corporate profits by politicians. People turn to Bitcoin and gold to protect against inflation and maintain financial sovereignty. A new study has found that crimes enabled by artificial intelligence in the cryptocurrency ecosystem are still in their nascent stages. Stakeholders can prevent these activities from becoming widespread through timely and measured responses. Data from the same study indicate a surge in tokens featuring AI-related keywords such as GPT, OpenAI, and BARD. Approximately 4,500 of these tokens are present on the BNB smart chain. Ten days ago, after former President Donald Trump was convicted on 34 counts connected to a hush money scheme, Polymarket bets indicated his chances of winning the 2024 election still stood at 54 percent, compared to incumbent President Joe Biden's 40 percent. Since that time, the gap between Trump and Biden has widened significantly, with polymarket odds increasingly favoring Trump. David Bailey, CEO of Bitcoin Magazine and Trump campaign cryptocurrency aid, has announced that former President Donald Trump will participate in a presidential roundtable on domestic Bitcoin mining as part of its new cryptocurrency-friendly policy. He revealed that big miners from the U.S. would be present at the event without disclosing the list of assistants. If you've been with us so far, a big thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for free to Bitcoin Zella for your daily news. The link is waiting below. That's all for today's crypto news. Stick around for more updates, insights, and analysis on cryptocurrencies. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more exciting content.